Capricorn friends, uh, welcome. Doing your October heart spread here. And, um, best setup I could do right now. <laughs> Out on the porch in Cancun, Mexico. Just moved. Temporary. Um, it's actually not that hot. It's a nice little breeze coming in. Uh, real close to the ocean here. Maybe, I don't know how far it is. Four miles away. Not that far either. Um, you could you could feel the breeze. Thank you, spirit. So this is for who's on your mind, who's in your heart. For October, big read, big read for October. Um, been pretty positive overall. <clears throat> You're in retrograde. This one. Uh, if you haven't, check out this whole family read. Kind of collective read for whoever resonates. Also do in the description. You'll find it. Uh, so that's for a little more manifestation spirituality less focused on romantic love here's typically romantic love whoever the one is that you're most thinking of most in your heart it's not about uh, necessarily even the one you're with sometimes it's complicated I know but Capricorn hopefully is one the same let's see we're looking for something also helpful from spirit too I don't like just to describe a situation. I mean, most of the time you know what's going on. Unless there's a, a question about the future. And I'm finding more and more, the more I can just let go of that. That's where the strength is. I don't even worry about the future. Will they, won't they, whatever. It's cool now. Whatever happens is for the best. Here, Capricorn, this is you. Wow, I was preparing you for that one, the tower. So if this is your reading, then then you're gonna stay maybe. Uh, if you're not, this is your energy right now in the realm relationships. If you're not in a quote unquote tower moment, um, then this is probably not your reading, because um, that's one of the purposes of the one and two card to also describe your person that you're thinking of. We'll see if that resonates as well. Um, but uh, now you know it is Mercury retrograde. This could 100% be mental. Like it would be a realization that's kind of uh, devastating more than likely, but something that really would change our uh, mindset, uh, Capricorn, uh, around love and relationship, particularly with this retrograde in Libra, particularly with this being your energy in and around love and relationships. Now your person, absolutely the opposite energy, opposite distract, uh, this is someone that's in the Ten of Pentacles energy. So. Um, the tower is uh, something's not solid, something's not serving your greatest good. Uh, but if it's not a thing, it's a, um, to me, it's like a mental structure, emotional structure. Um, and maybe the retrograde comes in and you let go of something big. And this one, you know, 10 pentacles, they're very secure. They know their own value. They're kind of conservative. Um, they're uh, sincere. Your Ten of Pentacles person could well be an earth sign. I mean, you could read that into it. Now, when you're with them and how you're reacting toward them is Two of Pentacles. You know, uh, Two of Pentacles is not real sexy right here because this is the way you feel towards them. Um, but they are an earth sign. Um, and you do come in with the tower energy. So to go from the tower to now when you're with them feeling like two of pentacles is like that look at that it could literally be you're putting a castle back together putting the tower back together brick by brick pinnacle by pinnacle and you first got to get everything in balance you know yet this person's ten of pentacles i don't see any reason why you wouldn't feel that they're um you know making you feel solid now towards you your first person is absolutely thinking about reciprocation and I don't feel like it's in a good way. I think they're asking themselves, are they, get, are they getting enough back from the relationship with you? Um, and in this position, because this is how they're reacting to you, I don't tend to read it as a past energy, although realistically with human beings, it often can be. Um, but in some way, I think, and this is pretty fundamental with uh, Pinnacles, I mean, this could literally be about the money. They maybe they feel like they're giving you resources, and uh, they're questioning whether that's uh, something they want to continue to do, or that there's something they're comfortable doing. Your advice, 
from spirit now. So if you're cross watching, I think you could take this Capricorn seriously. Usually Capricorns are not going to be insincere. The archetype is very sincere. So um, the lovers. You got two kind of. You got the, also the two of Pentacles can be a choice. Uh, so when you're with them, it could be. I feel like I have to make a choice. You know, this could be different ways that this is you know, shaken out. Um, and then that would be them even more so. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, do I want to be an option? Seven of Pentacles really questioning themselves if they want to continue investing even in this relationship. But your advice is to make this choice and to make it for love. You know, um, if, and let me just say this, okay? I'm, I'm not judging, I don't judge. But if there's someone else, okay? And this reading, whoever this reading's picking up on, that's the one that was in your heart. So if there's somebody else, they weren't the one that was in your heart. And advice from spirit is go with the one that's in your heart. Very simple. Advice for your person. From spirit I believe this advice is they've given enough maybe nine of wands you know they've given enough because this is advice from spirit for them towards you it also could be <laughs> it could uh, very much be you know I know you've done everything you can and you're exhausted you can't think of anything else to do these are wands but this could be spirit saying, take a knee and give it one more shot because you're almost there. So it can be the almost there energy. But coming under the Seven of Pentacles, you know, when you're in a Seven of Pentacles energy, you're not solid in the relationship. So these, this really takes, I believe myself, takes toll on you. If you're solid in a relationship, I'll go to the Nine of Pentacles and die. I don't care. I'm going to keep going, right? But if you're not solid in the relationship under the Seven of Pentacles, it, you're pretty weary by the time you get here because you're fighting with everything you got and you don't 100% know if you really love the person, if you really are bonded to the person. I think that's how they're feeling. Let's see what the advice from spirit is for the relationship as a whole. Wow, yeah. eight of wands. So coming between the lovers and the nine of wands is the eight of wands. I got to tell you this, I feel like Capricorn, in the advice for spirit, for the relationship as a whole, I, I don't feel this is saying there's no relationship. I feel like this is saying that you need to pour it on to this person. It's like you, you've been holding back for whatever reason, and spirit is saying, you know, make this choice, and then look, they're down, you know, they've been pouring the energy into you, and the wands are going towards them in the reading, these wands. That's a lot of action. Very positive. It's like I see if you're cross watching, you know, a Capricorn. I see a Capricorn here. You know, um, maybe the person has a talk with you about what's been going on, how it feels unequal or something. But you turn it around and you begin to pour it on back into this person so that they can continue to rest. And spirits telling them, take a knee, you know, take a knee. Uh, whether spirits tell them to hang in there or not, I think it kind of is because the read is going that way. Um, um, you're, you're, you know, giving them your hand, picking them up, you know. You're helping them. You're giving them the energy now. And they need it. You know. Um, there's a lot of good energy here, like helping energy going back and forth. And I keep, keep reminding you, um, whoever this one is, is the one that was on your mind. And the one that was in your heart this reading started so um the spirit's kind of affirming that not only choose it but pour it on this time pour it on yeah if there was a fire you'd be walking right up to the fire well you probably wouldn't want to throw gasoline and get burned that way but you get the point king of pentacles is the outcome so you know you're coming in this person's ten of pentacles and they're making you feel like the two of pentacles and it looks to me like you can have a very stable relationship with this person. Um, you will be a solid couple, uh, grounded, um, should have enough money. Um, people would see you as being a solid couple, you know. Um, very much feels to me, Capricorn, like this is another uh, earth sign. It's kind of obvious. 
it, this is the earth sign and this is the one that was in your heart um, so what you end up here and it's in the shape of a heart is with the king of pentacles and that's not about male or female um, that's a really solid strong relationship i think it really suits your person here whatever they, they are maybe another capricorn i would guess like more like a taurus or capricorn than a virgo here um caps but um this i'd, I'd kind of say this like um the relationship goes your way because you know you could also say king pinnacles is capricorn so it if it's allowing you to step up and be a real king of pinnacles energy the, then that serves you well and i believe serves this other person well i think they are the king of pinnacles you know um i think you know you were almost and you had this hardship and it's not hard for you to step back into that role especially when you have a solid uh, energy and support of this partner so uh, thank you guys give me a like thumbs up share all that stuff do subscribe uh, i need help thank you